Well, the Aurora lights lit up the sky across the world and it's continuing to light up social media. Let's bring in Denver 7's Adria Irohita. She's joining me here at the desk. And Adria, I mean, those photos, absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, it blew my mind. It mm -hmm. made me sad that, yeah, I know. I was asleep, you were probably asleep. Not <laughs> <laughs> well, we missed it, but I mean, it's incredible just to see those photos. We were lucky here in Colorado to have such a great view of the Northern Lights. And it seems like a lot of you got quite the show last night. Take a look at some of these viewer pictures. Here's a picture from Ashton Brown taken in Horsetooth Reservoir and another picture. This one is from Molly Cross who took this in the Rocky Mountains. Um, just, you know, all those pinks and purples. So let's talk about the science behind the Northern Lights. Scientists say it's a rapid fluctuation in the Earth's magnetic field that is related to disturbances in the sun. But as pretty as it is, this celestial event could also disrupt communications on Earth over the weekend. Now, this particular geomagnetic storm is a G5 the highest grade in the U.S. government's classification system. Now, this could cause a disruption in certain communications and technology. It could also impact everyday appliances like your microwave, stove, or dishwasher. If we do reach the G4 levels, uh, the, the level of response uh, could mean that there could be some infrastructure effects. The storm could impact power grids, satellite navigation, and high-frequency radio communications. Though it's unlikely the storm will directly affect cellular service. And Wani, good news, if you missed it last night, they may be visible tonight as well. Yeah. So we got a chance to see it exactly. ourselves. Exactly. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I'm off yeah. tomorrow, so maybe I can stay up a little bit late to, yeah, to check it out here. and see what all yeah. the hype is about.